We are at the home of the Bears on the campus of Missouri State University here in Springfield, Missouri. The Bobby Petrino era is over and Ryan Beard takes the helm here in 2023. Beard was the defensive coordinator for three years under Coach Petrino, but now he returns as the lead man and there is talent returning for him as well. I don't think there's been a better time to be a part of Missouri State football. We've got great leadership from the top to the bottom. Everyone is working hard in this building to put the product on the field that, that we think can be here. Go on. Appreciate it. Deacon Sharp, I appreciate you taking that. It's been a long 42 to 7. Hometown victory for Calvin Bears to 6 0 and a number four national ranking in Division 1 double A. PJ, compete in everything you do. Let's go. Work first. I started playing football when I was about eight years old. I was on the Pop Warner team called the Chiefs, and we were the Division I Toy Bowl champions that season. We blew out the Titans in the, uh, in the Super Bowl match, so that was a lot of fun. I had a pretty interesting college football career, so when we started off, we were in the transition from FCS to FBS. So in that transition, there's a lot of growing pains that a university can go through, growing pains that a football program can go through. So during my college career, I actually played for two head coaches, three defensive coordinators, and five DB coaches. So that's always interesting in regards to coming in and having to prove yourself year in and year out. I, I think that made me into a much better player, much more focused player. Obviously Obviously when you play college football your, your main goal is to be an NFL superstar or at least make a camp, try to get drafted, do all that good stuff. And we had about four games left in my senior season. Uh, I totally blew my AC joint, blew my shoulder out against LSU and, and that was the last game I played. Uh, shortly after that, it was about a week after the season had passed and you know I, I woke up and it was all about how can I get back to the game? How can I get involved in some way? I'm willing to do whatever it takes. And I, and I took a walk into Coach Willie Taggart's office and, and basically said, hey, Coach, listen, whatever you need, I can do. Now, being the young and experienced guy, thinking that it's super easy to get a GA job, I was assuming he was going to say, yeah, you know, you had a great career here. Let, let's get off and running. But he kind of he kind of shook his head and laughed, and he goes, I don't really know if you know what it actually takes to be a coach at this level and what the time commitment is. You know, you were a great player. You, you, you knew a lot about the game, but I want to see if you actually want to do this as a career. So he allowed me to basically volunteer for six months. I did film breakdown, weight room cleanups, made protein shakes, pretty much anything and everything that needed to be done just to show that I could add value and separate from going to from a, you know, three or four year starter into a coaching position. And six months went by, I guess I impressed enough to get a GA job. And then I went to Louisville as a quality control role. And, and, and that was good for me. I wanted to show that I could run a room, so I took a jump back to Division II program in the GLIAC Conference at Northern Michigan. Worked there for a season and then got back with Jeff Brom at Western Kentucky where we, we really dominated the league that year. After that, returned to Louisville um, as a quality control, then stepped into the linebacker's role and I, and I got to get into special teams, which I really enjoyed. I was co-special teams coordinator. So we were going to the kickoff event that everyone at every program does every year, the, the huge banquet hall. Tons of people, tons of fans, everybody's excited. There was, a, there was a buzz in the air about, you know, the Lamar Jackson era. Now, the day took a turn for me in particular because you know, as a, as a young coach, sometimes you don't have quite the nice nameplate at the head tables and all that good stuff. So the table that I was assigned to sit at was full. 
Uh, so again, me and Coach Petrino had a great relationship, and you know he and the DFO at that time kind of waved me over, and um, I'd, I'd take a seat and casually start relaxing, about to enjoy a good lunch, and all of a sudden, I look to my right, and there's the future Katie Beard. But the conversation was unbelievable. There was definitely, you know, some sparks flying, which was which was pretty crazy. They talk about you can know in an instant, and that was certainly the start of something special and, and a moment I'll never forget. We were let go at Louisville, and then we had to grind to get back. Again, I'm, I'm kind of old school. I think I sent like 150 emails. I sent like 50 overnight packages with my resume. Obviously, I knew that Coach Mack got my envelope, got everything um, that he needed to, and, and I was blessed to get an interview, and I impressed enough to get that job, and I became his defensive backs and special teams coordinators coach, and had a great career there. We loved Mount Pleasant, and then after that, here we are back with the Bears, the defensive coordinator here for, I think this will be our fourth season, now the head coach, and uh, ready to get some more wins under our belt. Go Bears! Go Bears! <laughs> One, two, three. Go, Go Bears! Bears. <laughs> Snap it up, let's go! Find a way to get better today. Go, baby. Attack the day, Oh, yeah, that's how you started. That's how you started. Let's go. Iron sharpens iron, baby. Iron sharpens iron. Let's go. Compete in everything you do, every single rep. Good tight feet. Good tight feet. There you go. First out. Let's go. Stay tight. Stay tight. Finish through. That away. That away to work. With Coach Beard, in uh, regards to practice, I feel like since he's a younger coach, a newer coach, he knows how to be more realistic with us, um, being able to know our, our bodies and know what we like to do um, music-wise, um, just being able to pump us up before practice. He is very um, energetic, I would just say the word is. He's jumping around, he's, he's having fun. On the hop, on the hop. Let's go, Kurt. Come on, baby. Beard and I have been together for a few years, um, even at our previous institution. We've, we've built this defense over the last three years. We have a phenomenal relationship on and off the field. I think we've surrounded ourselves with some really, really good coaches that only, you know, accentuate what we do and, and what we want to do. And I think our defense is just continuing to grow, and I think the best is yet to come. I mean, I, I've known Ryan for a really long time. Uh, the first time we actually met each other, we played on a all-star team together in high school. And obviously, we, we met at Louisville and Western Kentucky. And yeah, he married my sister. Uh, which uh, I have no problem with. He's a great guy. Uh, they have a great family. Uh, I love my nieces and nephews. Like my freshman year, uh, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of down on myself looking out on the field. I'm like, you know, I feel like I don't belong here. But Coach Beard kind of walked with me every day, talked with me, kept my hopes high, high spirits. He's very laid back with us. He understands what our bodies are going through. He's gonna push us every day to work. He's gonna push us to our limits. We have to attack the day and make sure that we win each and every day. And what does that look like? If it's a weight room testing day, we have to ring the bell and put up great numbers in the weight room. If it's a scrimmage day on the field during fall camp, you need to ring the bell and make sure you have your best day to date on that very day. And if it's just a meeting day or a walkthrough day, have enough focus and competitive maturity to understand that this is my task for the day. This is how I go about it and get something out of it and be able to achieve something every single day that puts you closer to your ultimate goal of winning games on Saturday. I've seen the old pictures of, you know, plaster being just packed to the gills and fans going crazy. And our, our players truly feed off that. I think if we can create a, you know, Volatile and chaotic is almost a word that I like to use when people talk about coming into Plaster Stadium and playing the Bears. I want it to be volatile to say the least. during the game and before the game, let them feel the heat. 